hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to see how to implement concast cmp so type concast in google and next click on uh, concast so this will open the concast uh, website so here uh, there are different options uh, under concast now uh, choose this option upgraded choice features for free become data compliant transition uh, to tcf version 2.0 now get consent so once you uh, click on get consent uh, uh, you can sign up uh, for a concast account so once you have signed up you can sign in so i have already signed up for this concast account so i am logging in uh, to this account So you can see that uh, there is already in a site that is had been added to this Concast account. I am going to add another site. So uh, now uh, under properties, now click on add property. Click on add property and add a website. Now you can enter your uh, uh, website URL. So here I am entering the new website that I am going to add my Concast CMP. So now once we have entered the uh, website URL, so there are different ways by which you can add this uh, CMP JavaScript code. So this JavaScript uh, code or the tag code has to be added to your uh, site. So there are different ways like blog, uh, if you are using a blogger website or Joomla or Shopify or Drupal or Squarespace or Wix, there are different ways by which we can add. So now uh, I am going to use uh, WordPress. So now we click for WordPress. So uh, the instructions on how to add for WordPress are given here. You can go through it. I will provide this link in the uh, desc description part. So next, uh, so first your uh, copy your P code here and copy it uh, uh, to a notepad next go to your website and uh, select plugins add new and search for quantcast so here you can implement tcf version 2.0 by use the use of a plugin called quantcast choice so now i have already installed it so now this uh, option can be seen here, QC choice. This QC choice is for the implementation of uh, TCF version 0.2. Now when you uh, click here, there will be different uh, settings available here. But you first you have to uh, enter your uh, P key. So in TCF version 2.2 settings, you can enter your universal tag ID. Or what we call it as the your P code. Your P code or universal tag ID can be entered here. So we have entered this here. Now you can uh, uh, select the choices here itself or uh, later. So enable choice TCF version point here. So yes, push IIB and non-IIB consent data to the data layer. Yes, and also automatically add footer CCPA message. So this uh, you can uh, these options you can select. If you want to add CCP also, you can add that message also here. So this will give you option here. And also you can uh, push IIB and non-IIB consent data to the data layer here. So now click on uh, save changes. So now the settings have been changed. So now uh, once this, uh, once you have added the P code, there uh, you again you have to go to the CMP dashboard and uh, make several changes to the settings. So one is the geolocation setting, add non-IIB vendors, enable CCPA support, customize the CMP display, customize the CMP display position, customize consent scope, customize consent configuration and so many things. So for this we are going to go into the uh, CMP dashboard again. So now uh, since I have added the P code, I am clicking it, I added my, P, uh, my tag here. So now once this has been uh, done here, uh, we are going to uh, uh, 
so we are going to see the uh, we are going to see privacy click on privacy here so already my one one of my sites has already been added here now under uh, privacy sites then click on protect a site so now you can add your url here so these are the general settings that you have to make in the cmp dashboard so um, I am going to add the URL of my website. So just the uh, here is saying that we should just add only the uh, uh, main uh, domain URL. So you can apply it to all, all the subdomains also. So if you want the uh, CMP to be uh, applicable to all the subdomains sub also, you can click here. Choose a default theme. So for a free version, so you'll get only one version here. Site name, I say uh, by uh, Windows Antivirus. You can add a uh, site logo here. So here there are two regulations here. One is for GDPR, that is for TCF 2.0, and another is CCPA. So both of these things uh, you can uh, select here. If you select CCPA, there will be two more options here: target enter US or uh, or uh, uh, you can or leave it uh, only to be uh, for uh, California uh, users. So next you can uh, select the CPM power version. The latest version is 12. Next you can geolocation part you can select uh, and uh, and the publisher country code. So the publisher where he is living you can select. So for example uh, since my server is in United States I am selecting as United States. Or you can, if you since if you are living in India, you can also se select as India. So now the consent scope. This is where you will be uh, users will be asked. So which user should be asked for content? Everyone or only users in the EA or UK? So you can select this option as uh, only users in the EA or UK. Since uh, we uh, will be sh uh, showing the TCF uh, 2.0 framework for uh, the consent form for uh, European u u users. So, but uh, just for uh, implementation, says, let's say everyone consents to ask user for uh, your site only. So, now non consent direct directory, you can enter to the privacy policy u URL here. Show new windows every 30 days. Uh, uh, declare which legal basis you the site host operate under uh, require consent or claim legitimate interest. So since uh, under TCFA framework you have to de define the legal basis, you can uh, choose to don't declare a legal basis for my property or I define my legal basis. So if I am uh, so choosing a define my legal basis, then you have to uh, select the purposes. There are uh, 10 different purposes and special features. You can select all of them or the required one. So uh, I am selecting the 10 required uh, purposes for the legal basis. So you can uh, select the appropriate one for your necessity. So these are all the uh, customers the pu purposes that apply to your data use needs. Since TCF is not for uh, data processing, so you can select all the uh, data processing needs that are required. Click on save. Now if you want to select Google vendors also, you can add it here. So select on uh, on. So Google vendors will be also be will be selected here. Now click on save changes here. So now it will take. Uh, so now you can see your property here. 
啊，所以啊。So it's still saying that the uh, Windows uh, uh, for this side still it is did not find the tag. So it will take some time before it finds the uh, tag. So this is how we are going to add the quant cost uh, universal tag or JavaScript code or the P code to uh, implement the quant cost CMP. In the implementation of quant cost CMP, we need to add universal uh, tag code in the header. So for that one, so uh, we are going to go to the CMP dashboard and click on privacy. So here you can see that uh, uh, there is uh, a universal tag. So if you once you click here privacy, so there is an universal tag here. So this tag has to be added into the uh, header header part. So implement a universal tag in the website header. So this part has to be added into the header. So, so that QC choice tag version 2.0 is implemented for TCF 2.0. Uh, uh, so that your other uh, user consent can be gathered from Concor choice CMP before any other tags are loaded. Uh, so this uh, you need to copy here. Next and co paste it in your header. So let's just paste it in our header. So here I am using generate press theme. So now if you see here there are elements so this is the header part so this is the header i'm adding here for this theme for this particular theme so next click it here so now you can see that the this part has been added here so in the header uh, header part so now after adding this part you should be able to uh, see your uh, consent form now let's see the consent form here so now you see if it, uh, this is uh, with the add serving here. So I'm uh, deleting the cookies here. And refreshing it. As you can see here this consent form is being displayed here. So this is our uh, TCF2 consent form. Here you can see more options. So you can select whatever the options you want to select here. So as a visitor or a user, you can select the required data here. You can also see about partners here. So these are the all the partners that you are allowed review and set your consent preferences so as a visitor you can set your consent pre preferences for each partner below expand each partner list item for more information to help make your choice some personal data is processed without your consent but you have the right to object so these are all the uh, partners uh, to which you have to give consent for data processing if you don't want you can leave it as off and also the legitimate inter interest part so for this part also so these options are uh, available here so now he can see here the legitimate interest purposes so as we said here there are 10 purposes and interest vendors uh, listed here so you can uh, select all of them so you can either object to the data processing so review and object to processing of personal data again for legitimate on the basis of legitimate interest for, the, for example say uh, personal ads uh, do you want to object or do you want to accept? So suppose I uh, click uh, sa uh, save and exit. So let's say uh, so let's say back. Or you can say save and exit. So here, uh, so again the privacy, uh, so this is on. So since we have agreed to all these, uh, 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 whatever the properties that are there, legitimate interest properties, uh, related uh, properties, so this we can process geolocation, uh, pro data processing related to process geolocation data and identification through device scanning, etc. has been 
accepted so you can click on agree here as a visitor so if you see that then you can also change at a later time you can also change at a later time so now we can see the ads here so uh, so uh, 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 even though we are not giving consent or if you give consent these ads are displayed here in the next video we will shall see only the ads will be displayed after giving our consent thank you